When an object is falling and there are no resistive forces acting on that object like friction or air resistance, a loss in gravitational potential energy, which is caused by a decreasing height, is made up for by a gain in kinetic energy. If an object is launched into the air and gravitational energy, gravitational potential energy increases because height is increasing, you see an equal loss in kinetic energy. So in order to buy your way to a higher height, you have to spend your kinetic energy. And if you drop from a high height to a lower point, you receive kinetic energy. That is the basis of these roller coaster marble questions. Let's say we have a marble, the same marble pictured at three instances in time. And here it has mass one gram, so 0 0.001 kilograms and initial velocity to the right of one meter per second, which is also the speed. From this information here, I want to attain three values. Gravitational potential energy, kinetic energy, and total energy, which is the sum of those two. And I want to attain, actually we'll do a third value, velocity. I want to attain those four unknown values for all three instances in time. Instance, I should say. All three instants in time. So let's get started. What is the gravitational potential energy of the marble at this point here? Well, it's given by mgh. G is a constant, 10, at the Earth's surface when we do year 12 physics. Some people say 9.8 is more accurate, that's true, we're going to use 10 because that's what the VCA uses. So gravitational potential is equal to mgh, that's 0 0.001 times 10 times 0 0.1, that's a total of 0 0.001 joules. So gravitational potential, 0 0.001 joules. It's not very big because the marble is not very heavy and it's not very high. Now kinetic energy. If the marble has speed of one meter per second and velocity 0 0.001 kilograms, then the kinetic energy is a half, 0 0.001 times one squared. That's equal to 0 0.0005 joules worth of kinetic energy. Again, not very large because the marble is not very heavy and it's not moving very quickly. So 0.0005 joules. The total energy of this marble at this point is equal to the sum of gravitational potential and kinetic. So that is 0 0.0015 joules. And the speed that was given to us, that's one meter per second. Since energy can neither be created nor destroyed, only transformed, and there are no frictional forces in this question, the total energy at all three instants in time must be equal to 0 0.0015 joules. In, some, in all questions, momentum is conserved. Uh, in this question, it's a bit difficult because the momentum is being transferred into the track. But in specific questions, the total energy uh, is kept as kinetic or gravitational. This is one of those instances. So total energy in each case is the same. We can move on to the next set of unknowns here. Since the marble is at its lowest point here and is actually resting level with the ground, height is zero and therefore gravitational potential energy is equal to zero. Since the total energy has to be made up of the sum of these two energies, and gravitational potential is providing nothing at all, the kinetic energy has to be equal to that total energy, so 0 0.0015 joules. And from that we can work out the speed. Ek is equal to a half mv squared, so 0 0.0015 is equal to a half times 0 0.001 times v squared. 
sorry, point oh oh five, sorry, point oh oh one five divided by a half divided by point oh oh one and then taken to the square root v comes to 1.73 meters per second. Is that a sensible answer? That's roundabout, by the way, that's just approximate. Well, if it's moving at one meter a second up here, and then it rolls down a hill, when you ride your bike down a hill, you tend to pick up speed. And this marble has also picked up around 0.73 uh, in velocity, so it is increasing in speed. That agrees with common sense, so I like this answer a lot. I'm going to change one thing about this question. I'm going to make that not 15, but 12 centimetres. We'll see why in a second. In the third case, the gravitational potential energy is given by mgh. That is equal to 0 0.001 times 10 times 0.12. 0 0.001 and that comes to 0 0.0012 joules. The difference between the total energy and the gravitational potential energy will be the kinetic energy. So 0 0.0015 take away 0 0.0012 is equal to 0 .00, 0 .00, yeah, 0.0003 joules. And from this kinetic energy, we can figure out the velocity, so 0 0.0003 is equal to a half times 0 0.001 times v squared, so 0 0.0003 divided by 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.001 is 0 0.6 taken to the square root, I get v is equal to 0 0.77 meters per second. So this line here reads kinetic energy 0 0.0003 is equal to a half times the mass which is 0 0.001 times right on the edge here that's v squared and that v is what I just solved for to find the speed there. The final question I'll ask is what is the maximum height that this hill could be built to before the marble is no longer able to roll over it? Well, if the total energy of the marble was completely made up of the gravitational potential, there would be no kinetic energy left to keep the marble rolling over. So when the total energy, which was 0 0.0015, was equal to the gravitational potential energy, so m 0.001 times g times h, that's when you'd have a hill that was so large that if it were made even a minuscule bit larger, the marble would not be able to get over it. So 0 0.0015 divided by 0 0.001 divided by 10. That comes to 0.15 meters or 15 centimeters. So you can't build a hill any larger than 15 centimetres.